Hi there, I am Lee and welcome to iMind Blocks. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get set up and started with the JCE Cryptono CPU miner. So this claims to be the world's fastest Cryptono CPU miner for Windows ever. And based on a few of my tests, um, it certainly does perform um, very well. So this miner is for Intel and AMD CPUs. It can be for 32-bit or 64-bit processors. Like I've already said, it is for Windows. There is also a Linux version, but in this video, I'm purely covering the Windows version. Uh, also to make you aware, it has a 1.5% dev fee and it is a closed source miner, but the, uh, the creator is um, quite well trusted within the community. So let's jump right into it. So you see on the screen, um, just on this notepad here to make things simple, I've got um, some of the different coins that you can mine. So there's a whole bunch of different coins. There's also some pools in there as well that support uh, compatible coins. But there is a whole bunch of crypto note uh, based coins and derivatives, forks, etc. So a whole bunch of coins and there's also a whole bunch of different algorithms. Obviously those crypto note um, coins are going to use slightly different algorithms. So there's currently like 20 different um, algorithms that this miner um, supports. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to get started with um, Uplexa, but the process is very much the same for um, all of the coins. So I'll be taking you through the whole process. So whatever coin that you wish to mine, you'll probably be able to mine it using this same sort of setup. Okay, so to get started with this miner, you're gonna kind of wanna start off with a few sort of things. So from this list of all the different supported coins, you're gonna wanna find whichever coin that you want to mine. So in this instance, I'm gonna start with um, don't think it's actually in that list there, but it's actually called Uplexa. So it's a new coin and it's just been added um, to this miner. Then you want to go to somewhere uh, useful like Bitcoin Talk and you want to find kind of the main thread for the coin that you're interested in mining. So here we've got the Uplexa main thread. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to get from this uh, website, we want to access the wallet because we're going to need a wallet address. And we we'll also want to see what pools are available for this particular coin or project. So you can see here, I've got the Uplexa web wallet. So from here, we're just gonna create a wallet. Um, I've already done that. I'm not gonna take you through the process. It's really super simple. Um, if you do get stuck, you can check out my wallet videos and I'll, I'll give you a bit more detail on those. But essentially create an account, create a wallet, and then you'll end up with a wallet address. So down the very bottom of this notepad again, I've got this wallet address. So for all of the crypto note coins, um, it's gonna look very similar. They're very, typically very long addresses. I think normally about 45 characters long, something like that. And it's gonna look like that. So the next thing that you're gonna need is a mining pool. So pretty much all the mining pools for CryptoNote, they run on the same sort of basis. Typically, you just need a wallet address um, and that's kind of all you need. Um, you don't often always need to create accounts and things. Normally, it's just based on your address. Um, but once you find a pool that you're interested in mining to, uh, visit the website and then go to this getting started. Um, all you're really looking for to get from the pool is the website address, that is the pool mining address. So in this case, it's gonna be hashing.center. You'll also have a pool, I would say just start with the lowest number pool uh, based on the difficulty, that will cover you for pretty much most um, scenarios. You'll also have a little bit more information regarding um, your payment in, and address formatting but um, check exactly what it says. For most things, it's really just gonna be your crypto note um, address itself. So once you have your wallet address and also your mining pool address, you're then ready to download the miner. So if you go to the Bitcoin talk thread or you can use the link in the video description, you can download the miner. So we're gonna download this one here. So this link here, I've actually already downloaded it. And then from your downloads folder, you find the uh, zip file and then you want to extract it just like you normally would any other zip folder. Inside the folder that you've just extracted, you're going to see lots of coins that look um, like this. Sorry, I said coins, I meant files. The only one that you really need to um, edit for your basic kind of operation is this start.bat file. So if you select that and then right click and then go to edit, you might get a Windows um, warning, it's okay. Just click on run. And then this is your uh, configuration, your start batch file configuration file uh, for the miner itself. 
So there's only a few details in it. It looks kind of a bit complicated when you first open it up, but it's actually only a few details that you need to set. So the first part is this set pull equals. So you want to change that. So we're gonna change it to our pull, which is hashing dot center or whatever your pull URL is. The next part is the pull. So that's already completed for us. It's free, 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 free in for our pulls, uh, pull in this case. SSL, you probably won't use that. Further down, we need to change this wallet equals to our wallet address. So like I said, it's already in that notepad file. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that. So I'm just gonna replace where it says 43. I start with my, paste my wallet address in there. And the next part is this password X. So typically this depends on the pool that you're mining to. For most cases, if you just leave it as X, that will work. Um, but you can also use it as a nickname. So I'm gonna change it on my blocks, for example. Um, on some certain pools, the, the formatting is completely different. So for example, with Supernova, um, you'll, you'll use a completely different format, but for most pools, using your wallet address and the password as a nickname or X will work for most people. So that's that part. Then the next part is um, setting your um, algorithm for the miner itself. By default, it's set to zero, which is automatic. So if the pool supports it, you can just leave it at zero and the, the miner will sort itself out. But if you know specifically which algorithm you want to mine, um, or, or you know what, what coin, uh, sorry, what algorithm the coin uses, then you can change it manually. So where it says set fork equals, so in this case, I'm gonna change it to 19 because I'm mining um, Uplexa. So it's that new algorithm there. And then further down, you've got an option, uh, it just for, for the uh, miner to automatically set between 32 or 64 bits. In most cases, you don't need to make any other changes. So that's pretty much it. So then you want to go uh, control and S to save it. Okay, so back to the main mining folder, you've got this start.bat, which we've now um, edited and updated our files into that. So now we can start the miner itself. So we're just gonna double click and start mining. might get a Windows notification error. Also, you might wish to um, disable your antivirus or also Windows Defender if you have any problems running the miner, if it sort of um, doesn't seem to load up or pauses, then you might want to disable your antivirus. But it's gonna look a little something like this. So you can see it detects your CPUs and then it allocates CPU threads, however um, the miner sort of sees fit. So in this case, it's going to use all four CPUs. Um, for reference, I'm using an i5-6600K and it's overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. So when I tested this miner previously, I was getting around about 1750 hashes per second on Uplexa. So that was quite an increase compared to um, the, uh, the XM rig miner that I previously used. Um, and then from there, obviously the miner's going to start mining and you'll start seeing the shares on your pool. So I'm just gonna close the miner there because I don't want it to affect this recording too much. So just very quickly, if you leave your miner running, um, probably leave it running for about 10 minutes, the, your hash rate will balance out, you'll get a more consistent hash rate. And then you should also be able to check your stats on your mining pool. So I'm quite commonly asked um, about mining stats. So if you visit your uh, mining pool, so in this case it's mines.hashing.center, we go to worker statistics. If we enter in the wallet address, the same one that we're using in the miner, and then look up, you should see the worker st statistics. So you'll have the current hash rate, you'll have your hash rate over time. You'll have your um, kind of pool balance, also the total paid, and various um, other information, but it will take about 10 minutes for that to update. Most of the crypto note pools pay out automatically on a set basis. So that can be once per day, once when it finds a block, or once every couple of hours but uh, most of the payments are normally done um, automatically. Okay, so that's it for this video. Not much more to it. Like I say, JCE is a very simple and easy to use uh, miner, a very good CPU miner for Windows and covers a whole wide range of all those crypto note coins and algorithms. 
So I think it's a really good miner um, for those coins and it's certainly very fast and efficient as well. So that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.